okay today we'll see what is a diesel generator diesel generator has two parts one is engine as you can see on the screen and the other part is the alternator right here okay this is the alternator we are going to learn about this today now this is a stamford make alternator it's a 250 kV machine so right now we are going to dismantle this thing can see this so this is the terminal block all the main cables from main stator come over here and a connector so this is on the screen is left side neutral then rybp and down below more the this are neutral rybp and the other thing three cables are called half point that we we'll explain later So this round plate is called a coupling disc. It's on the driving side of alternator. This is the main plate, which is punched on main stator body, with all electrical details, key, V, A, C, R, number, make, everything. This is main alternator body. You, you call it main stator. It's basically this winding is AC winding. All R Y B and neutral connections are brought over here from this winding. Now let's see how the alternator is burned. As you can see on the top side, winding is burned. Let's have a closer look. So this winding is burned due to insulation failure. As you can see, a certain portion of winding is defected, but The thing is, we cannot repair this thing. We have to completely remove the whole thing. So this this thing is burned. We have applied chalk for proper identification. Now we will be cutting this whole whole main stator and rewinding it again. Now this is the non-driving side, as you can see. From here you can see the windings. Leads coming out from the main stator and going towards the terminal. Now this area is the overhang portion. This is where mostly the windings burn. So this is the terminal block. So right side is your R Y B N neutral, and left side is your half winding. This is metering CTs, three CTs for three phase R Y B. This is the connections wires. So R Y B, three CTs for three phase. This is basically metering CTs. It will go in your panel and it will show you. What is the load on every each face? And this is the coupling disc which is connected to engine. And this is the cooling fan, aluminium made cooling fan. This portion is the main rotor. As you can see, there are four poles in this. This is a DC winding. So you can see on the yeah, it is one, two, three. One is the fourth one is down. It's basically work like north south, north south. So it's a DC DC winding. And this area, this thing is attached on the. Shaft with main rotor. This is called as exciter armature. And at last, you have this bearing. 
this alternator is a single bearing alternator as you can see there is only one bearing in this so this is called a single bearing alternator let's see the RRA which is mounted on the shaft so this this thing is called rotating rectifier assembly rotating rectifier assembly it comprises of six diodes and one surge suppressor here you can see uh, the full RRA assembly connected to the main rotor wires I'll show you the rotor wires there are two rotor wires one is positive and one is negative this is the one this is positive and this is negative this connected to the main rotor windings this connected to the main rotor wind as I said it's a DC winding and DC winding always comprises of only two wires one will be positive the other one negative the rest these are the diodes of RRA there will be three diodes on each side so these three are positive and the other three will be negative so here these three are negative and the blue chip what you can see round is called a surge suppressor this will be studying in the later videos this is called a surge suppressor so basically six diodes and one surge suppressor three positive three negative diodes okay now let's see what is exciter armature so this on your screen is an exciter armature or you can see it's exciter rotor and this is AC winding so your RRA is connected to the exciter armature or exciter rotor you can see there are six leads going to six diodes now let's see what is AVR this, this part this electronic component is called as AVR this is heart of your alternator this basically controls all the voltages and all the parameters of your alternator without this alternator will never give desired output and last we are going to see what is exciter field so on your screen is an exciter field some people call it exciter stator also having two leads one is positive one is negative as always in a DC winding so let's see how its construction is so here you can see there are even number of coils mounted on core of exciter stator so every coil will act like a magnet it will have a polarity basically north or south so there are around 14 coils each will have positive or negative polarities so for example if this coil is south then the next will be north south north south north south so the thing it will go on so this acts like a magnet it's very important to know this is a DC winding so basically in alternator there are four windings two are AC two are DC your main rotor and exciter stator both are DC windings so this is one of the DC windings in future videos we will see how they operate and help each other in building up voltage thanks for watching everyone function of individual windings components rra avr everything will be discussed in the future videos hope you like the video please like and share thank you